हेलो गाइस, आई एम पनीता एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टू पॉलिश योर सी एस विद मी सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी वन एग्जांपल ऑफ एस और यू कैन से डेटाबेस एग्जांपल। दिस क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्ड प्रीवियसली इन गेट सो um such examples that are previously asked in gate is important because these examples or these questions are helping us out to clear our concepts right so if you are preparing for either gate or any competitive exams like ugc net isro bark or any other such technical exams these concepts are always going to help you out fine so let's see this example in this example we are given three tables table a table b and table c with the columns id name and age for table a and b and for table c the columns we are having are id phone and area fine these are the three tables that are given to us so okay we are going to see the tables anyhow first of all let's see the question select a dot id from a where a dot age is greater than all select b dot age from b where b dot name equal to arun so this is the query sql query that is given to us and the actual question is find out the number of tuples the actual question that they have asked in this is find out number of tuples in the output fine this is the sql query we are given and these are the three tables we have given and based on this query and these tables we have to find out that whatever the output will be of this query how many number of tuples will be present in that output what do we mean by tuples number of rows so we just have to tell that how many number of rows are there in the output so obviously in order to find out the number of tuples we should find out the output here the query is select a dot id from a where a dot age is greater than all select from b where b dot name equal to arun now in this is actually a nested query one select we are having one select inside of another select so in such nested queries the normal rule you have to take uh, you have to keep in mind is every time we are going to um, execute the inner sub query first this this is the inner query and this is the outer query so we are always going to evaluate the inner query first so if i evaluate the inner query here first that is select b dot age from b so what is b dot age from b b dot age is 24 40 20 and 11 all these are b dot age from b where now the condition they are giving is first of all see always go in these queries whenever the query is very big don't get afraid that we are having three tables we are having uh, sub query so it will be difficult one it is not like that go step by step and you will get the output easily see what we are doing in this first of all we are going to evaluate the inner sub query now in the inner sub query also go step by step what is the first thing that we have to see that select b dot age from b first of all only see this much select b dot age from b now b dot age from b will give me all these four 24 40 20 11 fine but then we are having where condition where b dot name equal to arun now i have to check that in this four which name is corresponding to the name arun so is there any name corresponding to the name arun no we are having shreya hari and rohit there is no arun so select b dot h from b where b dot name equal to arun this select condition gives me null you are understanding this whole select query is giving me what it is giving me null why because there is no such row in the table b such that such that b dot name equal to arun there is no name as arun at all in table number b that means what this inner query is giving me null now so so what i got now my query will become select a dot id from a right select a dot id from a where a dot age is greater than all and in bracket what i got null now all works how this all keyword works that if i am having um, many like if i have got multiple values here then this comparison will show that 
दिस ए डॉट एज मस्ट हैव बीन ग्रेटर दैन ऑल दोज वैल्यूज विच एवर आर प्रेजेंट देयर विच एवर आर प्रेजेंट इन दिस इन साइड द ब्रैकेट फाइन इन दिस वे ऑल वर्क्स बट इन दिस केस वी हैर हैविंग नल हेयर दैट मीन्स हाउ इट विल बिकम दैट सी सिलेक्ट ए डॉट आई डी फ्रॉम ए वेर ए डॉट एज सिलेक्ट ए डॉट आई डी मीन्स दिस आई डी फ्रॉम ए वेर ए डॉट एज सो ए डॉट एज हेयर इज सिक्सटी फोर्टी इलेवन सो सिलेक्ट ए डॉट आई डी फ्रॉम ए सी सिलेक्ट ए डॉट आई डी फ्रॉम ए वेर ए डॉट एज मीन्स वी आर सिलेक्टिंग वॉट ए डॉट आई डी मीन्स ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन एंड नाइन्टी नाइन वेर द कंडीशन इज ए डॉट एज मीन्स ऑल दीज थ्री एजेस दैट इज सिक्सटी ट्वेंटी फोर एंड इलेवन इट मस्ट बी ग्रेटर दैन ऑल ऑफ नल बट दिस इज नल दैट मीन्स वी आर हैविंग नथिंग टू कंपेयर एट ऑल सो दिस ऑल ऑफ नल दिस ए डॉट एज is greater than all of null it will always give me true you should be knowing this normally how all works that if we are where if we were having multiple values inside this bracket then this a dot h must have been greater than all those values but in my case we are get, i am getting null here so a dot a h is greater than all of null so if i am keeping this a dot h as either 60 or 24 or 11 it will it will always be evaluated with true that means what i will get in select a dot id all these three ids of the table a will be selected so as the output of my this query i will get all the three rows of table a that is 12 15 and 99 fine because it is null here so all the values of a dot a is greater than all of null will give me or it will be evaluated with the value of true and when it is true i will get that value so here there are three ids in table a so i am getting three so find out the number of tuples in the output so the number of tuples in my output will be three if there have been four or five tuples in table a if there had been five tuples in table a then my output would have also be consisted of those five rows so in this case we are having three rows in a so my output will also contain three rows or three ids so the output the number of tuples in the output this answer will be 3 fine thank you